What is up, Kratics? In this video, I'm going to be giving a guide for this week's Normal Time Trial, RC Bandito Time Trial, and the Premium Race for this week, totaling over $300,000. Remember, the Time Trial is going to be completed once a week for the full $100,000 payout. The Premium Race, however, can be completed in a limited amount of times with a 48 minute cooldown between each win. Also, keep in mind that rocket powered slash flying vehicles cannot be used in time trials. So, starting off with the time trial this week, which is down Chiliad, I highly recommend either the Batty 801, Manchez, Sanchez, or a BF400 for this time trial. Now, this time trial is by far the hardest out of all the time trials. So, for those of you who easily get frustrated or annoyed with time trials, I would definitely skip this one for this week. But anyways, in terms of route for this time trial, this one is pure shortcuts and lots of luck, to be honest. <laughs> As always, I'll be attempting to use either the Casino Podium Vehicle or the Prize Route of the Current Event Week on these time trials if they're quick enough to complete them. So for this Event Week, we have the Tailgater S as the Prize Ride and the Lurcher on the Casino Podium, neither of which have any chance of beating this time trial. So the footage you're going to see here is the same one from the last time that this particular time trial was live. I just didn't want to do this particular time trial again. It's my least favorite. I usually do these time trials because they're fun and entertaining and challenging. And the Down Chiliad one, it's just frustrating and annoying and all based on luck. It's just <laughs> the worst time trial in the game by far. So anyways, here is my run from the last time with the Batty 801. Moving on to this week's RC Bandito Time Trial, which is Construction Site 2. As always, you need to own an RC Bandito in order to participate in these. So this one really isn't too difficult in comparison to the others. The hardest part is definitely going up and down the ramps to go to different levels. But other than that, it's not really too bad of a time trial. Now as always, remember that for the lower speed tight corners and before those ramps, make sure to brake. And when you use those brakes, make sure to press them in about halfway, not all the way, or you might lose control of your bandito. And lastly, we have this week's premium race, which is Muscle In. Now this one is a circuit to the Muscle Cars class. I highly recommend either the Dominator ASP, Yosemite, Clique, or a Pizwazer Dominator for this race. Now this race is pretty difficult, especially with Muscle Cars, but 
If you use a Dominator ASP, which basically handles like a sports car, it is a lot easier, but but in general, if you've never done this race before, this is definitely one you want to practice a few laps of beforehand. And that's it guys, the normal time trial is definitely one I'd skip for this week, unless you want to rage for a few hours. <laughs> and the RC time trial is pretty simple if you break for most of the turns. And this week's premium race might take some practice if you've never done it before. Again, remember guys, you can earn over 300,000 between the three this week, and setting yourself to go to beat them is always a lot of fun in my personal opinion. Let me know which one you found most difficult, and what vehicles you used down below in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.